sorry. I'm still... I I thought this would be quicker. I'm like, I could totally start this and then... But my tripod's being weird. It's probably kind of the best as it's going to get, I think. Sorry, people that are, the six people that are watching, I'm still kind of, I definitely thought it would take a minute for people to like come on last time it, it took a second. <laughs> Sorry. I'm messaging one of my friends on Facebook too, so I was like, I need to bring up my laptop. Okay. Happy Easter, everyone. Um, that's like watching. Sorry, I have to do it this way because I'm charging my phone. And I also like, this is the way that my tripod works. So I'm hoping that everybody can turn their phones. <laughs> um, I also just have contacts in today. So like, I can't, I, they're like still kind of older. So they're my old prescription. So they're still not like the best. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure people are okay. Um, anyway, happy Easter people. Um, I thought I would do another live stream just because, honestly, why not? I'm bored, and yeah. Um, I'm also hungry, so while we're hanging out, I'm gonna eat this watermelon. <laughs> I'm, I was gonna wait, but I'm like, I kind of just want to do it, so I'm just going to try and eat this watermelon. Oh my god, can I not even cut stuff? Okay. Um, so how's everybody's day going? Also, I might be having one of my friends on later, like not like in person, but I know you can like do like a split screen. So one of my friends might be coming on to do some commentary. She hasn't been on my channel before or anything, but Sorry. <laughs> um, this is a glass table, so it does not break. Ah, oh, look at that. I know how to cut fruit. How's everybody's Easter going? Um, I was gonna, I planned this live stream yesterday. I totally didn't even like think it was gonna be, you know, like, I totally didn't even realize it was gonna be Easter. Um, so I posted on my Patreon because I let them know first that I would be live streaming. I did bring a spoon. And I was like, I'm just going to like hang out, eat a watermelon. And then I realized, oh, it's going to be Easter. I can wear my Easter outfit. I'm kind of trapped behind the table, but I have a tail too. So I can like show that later if anyone wants. Feel free to ask me questions or anything while we're hanging out. Um... I, if you're like, if you were here last time when I did it, like, I don't know, when did I do my last live stream? Like two weeks ago? I'm doing a lot better. Dealing with isolation a lot better. Um, I'm finally starting to like clean, um, just like clear my mind and just, I just feel a lot better. Um, my sleeping schedule is almost under control. Um, I go to bed now like 11 p.m. and I'm still, I still wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, but still like getting better. It sucks because sometimes I wake up at like 6, like even today I was like, I woke up at like 6.30 and I was like wide awake and I'm like I'm not going to make it until tonight. So I know I'm definitely going to have to take a nap today. Hello, Kurt. So... I know, aren't they cute? So cute. I have the tail too. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'll be posting some pictures on Instagram later. Um, I wish I had a little Easter basket. I was like, I was like doing some pictures and I'm like, man, I was like, I wish that I could like have an Easter basket, but maybe I can try and like Photoshop one in. I mean, discount Photoshop that I have. Yeah, I'll try and, like, stand up later and, like, 
show the whole outfit. Sorry, it's kind of hard with my tripod because like that's kind of better. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the best I can do right now just because I'm sitting on the floor. I don't have a table. I just have this coffee table um, and then the couch. So and then I have like the bar stool area, like the kitchen counter. So this is kind of like the best as I can get. Um, but yeah, I'll try and stand up later, show off my butt, my little tail. But I'll also be posting some pictures of my full outfit on Instagram too. Look at this watermelon. I went to the grocery store and there was fruit. So I was like, I need to get some fruit. And like, I've been waiting, like this was like a few days ago, like maybe five days ago. And I was like, I was like, I can't eat it right away. So I'm finally able to eat some of the groceries that I got. Fruit's expensive when it's fresh. Like I could get like a frozen huge bag of like veggies for like five bucks. But if I wanted the exact same thing fresh, I was like, like it was like almost $10. I was like ridiculous. Like this mini watermelon was actually this one was on sale. It wasn't too bad. This was like five bucks, but watermelon was my favorite. It's like way too room temperature. Got my ice. So, just talking about like what I've been doing, um, like during all this isolation. Sorry, I feel like I'm being kind of boring right now. I did just literally say I was just gonna be hanging out, um, but it's been okay. Um, like I said, like, I finally, like, I'm starting to clean and it's kind of making my brain feel a little better. Finally, I feel like I should have started all that, like, way sooner, but, like, I was sorting recycling, taking some garbage out. I, kind of gross, I literally haven't, like, swept or mopped in a couple months. I know, it's so gross, like, even before this isolation. So, I was just always wearing socks around because I'm like, everything's so gross. Um, but I finally, like, I swept everything except, I think, yeah, I didn't really do the laundry area just because there's so much laundry there. But I, I like, did laundry yesterday. I'm not caught up 100%, but I swept I mopped, like, I got in there and scrubbed so much that I was, like, sweating, and I was like, ugh, why did I even shower today? But, like, it felt so good, and then I was trying to kind of clean, like, um, my room, but it was just, it was just too much. But, so, I finally, my, as people, like, know, if you know me, like, at all, I'm, like, piss poor broke like literally I've had one of the roughest like years of my life um I did like temping I got screwed over by a couple of jobs it's just been hard so my credit card's been like maxed but um I was I got my last paycheck from the job I just did it was only like a 100 bucks but I put it on my credit card and I was finally if anyone has animal crossing like, you know that, like, um, it, like, I got Animal Crossing as a gift, so I'm not even complaining. Like, literally, it was, like, one of the best things, like, of my life, and I literally cried when it came in the mail. But, um, the expansion of the Animal Crossing is, like, $24 a month, so people can, like, go to your island, and you can go to theirs, and I didn't even know that. So, people are like, oh, you got Animal Crossing, because I'm like, you know, Instagramming it and putting it on my personal Facebook and stuff like that. And I'm like, yes, but um, I was like, I can't do the island thing because I don't have any room on my credit card. Oh, people are hearting this. Sorry. So I was finally able to do that today. So my sister was over in my island for like an hour and that was like super fun. And it was honestly, it was so great to see her face. Um, I don't really talk about my family a whole lot, but well, I talk about my sister quite a bit. I talked about her on my last stream. She's, like, the best human being in this planet. Um, 
but it was so nice to see your face. We were supposed to, um, we were supposed to talk a little longer, but she teaches ASL and stuff, American Sign Language, sorry. Um, your parents, I don't know what that means. Sorry. Um, my phone's this way, so when I'm reading comments, I'm going like this. I haven't worn my contacts in a while. My eyes are getting used to them. They are a little older, so my old um, prescription too, so they're not as good. But anyway, so as my sister and I were able to hang out, and that was like super fun, and that was something that I got to do today. But I don't know if anyone likes musicals, but I love musicals. I got into musicals like age-wise pretty late. I didn't even get into musicals. Until I was like, I don't know, maybe like 20. And most people get into them when they're in high school. I did tech in high school. I liked the technical aspoint, um, aspect of it. I really liked editing videos. I was so... Uh... I'm going to do a wave. Love you. I miss you. Um... But yeah, so I've been watching, one of the things that's been getting me through all of this is like musicals. Even if like no one's watching, I'm literally just going to continue talking because I need to just talk. Like four people, but that's okay. Um, but I I have started re-watching a lot of like musicals that I like. Um, it sucks because it's hard to find them like legitimately. So a lot of the times, for most of them actually, I'll just watch the animation versions of them because people will take the music, do like animations to them, and then put them together. So I don't know if anyone has seen like Hamilton. That's my all-time favorite musical. Um, but like there's a huge like three-hour animation version of it on, um, on YouTube. And it's by like all these different animators. And I've been like watching that. I'll watch it when I'm cleaning. Um, but another one that my sister introduced me to is called Six. <laughs> Thanks, Alyssa. <laughs> I'm totally saying that wrong. I you you literally corrected me on how to say your name a couple times. I'm like I just can't. I'm too white. Um. I do look cute as shit. I miss you. You need to come back here. Sorry. There's a musical called Six. Um, and it's about, like, the six wives of Henry VIII. So, like, if you know anything about, like, that history, um, it's really good. Like, I don't know. I don't, personally, there's, like, the first song. I didn't like it at first. It took me a while to get into it. But then, like, I was like, oh, my God, it's, like, the shit. And it's technically not even a musical. It's, like, a bunch of songs um, performed as, like, a concert. But it's so fucking good. So, like, if you're bored, definitely look up, like, Six the Musical um, on, like, on YouTube. So, like, if you're looking for something to do, like, definitely look up, like, um, Hamilton the Musical. I honestly suggest just watching the animation versions of it. Um, just because a lot of the versions that you find are, like, filmed illegally and stuff. So... It's just not, one, it's not good quality, and two, it's just, like, illegal, so it's not good, I guess. Um, but, yeah, just look up, like, um, animation versions, and then look up Six the Musical, and it's so good. And, like, there's so, like, Six the Musical, there's so many, um, there's so many lines in there that I'm like, oh my god, like, clap back. So, like, my favorite, well, my, a couple of my favorite lines from, like, Six the Musical is it's, like, um... Do, do, do. And then it, sorry, I'm like, oh my god, I'm trying to get to it without, like, um, it's like, I think we can all agree I'm the ten amongst these threes. And I'm like, that's literally me whenever I visit my hometown. <laughs> um, and then, like, um, one of my favorite ones is it's like, um, why hasn't it hit her? Na -na 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 -na. Don't be bitter, do do, cause I'm fitter, do do. Why hasn't it hit her? He doesn't want to bang you. Somebody hang you. And, and I'm like, oh my God, I love that. 
Um, like, it's just, it's so good. It's, it's about, like, um, a lot of, like, I want to say it's, like, about, like, empowering women, but in a way, it also shows how tragic these six girls' lives are. Like, you think being married to a king, it's all, you know, amazing, but it just shows that these girls were put under so much stress, you know, they were cheated on, a lot of the time, like, they didn't even get a choice. Henry's like, you're gonna be my wife, and you are. And it's like, oof. And you can't say no or off with her head, right? That's my one of my favorite songs. So, um, I'm trying to remember the names. Because I'm, like, totally putting myself on the spot. But my fa- second favorite song from Six the Musical is Don't Lose Your Head. And All You Want to Do is my favorite first favorite song from Six the Musical. It's so fucking good. You know what? I'm hoping that it doesn't like kick me off if I like play a little bit of it. Because I don't know how Instagram Live does if you like play stuff you don't own. I don't actually know. But I'm going to do a little bit. It's I like All You Want to Do because it's like it. it's about this girl who, like, she was um, his wife, and then she's, like, it's kind of, like, it has a lot of triggers in it, obviously, um, so I don't even know if I should 100% say everything that she's, like, been through, but she basically just get gets used for, like, her body, for sex, she gets told how pretty she is, but then once guys use her, you know, and then they're done with it, and she, they throw her away, and she just, like, feels so alone, and, like, and it just, it just, like, showcasts a lot of, like, what females, like, just feel. This is getting, like, so real. I did not mean to get this real. But I'm going to play, like, 20 seconds of it. And everyone, if you don't like it, that's okay. Oh, ads. Let's listen to some ads. Also, though, look how tragic this laptop is. Literally, when I got my job, I was like, I'm so excited. I'm going to finally be able to buy a new laptop. And then I lost my job because of this COVID. And I'm like, it's the first stable job I've had in forever, but whatever. Oh, hi, Kevin. But yeah, I'm going to play like 20 seconds of the song and then we'll get back to like just talking, I guess. I think we can all agree I'm the 10 amongst these threes. And ever since I was a child, I'd make the boys go wild. And that, so that's like my, like one of my f- favorite like lines of that one. I'm not going to go through the whole song actually because it's like seven minutes. But yeah, so that one is like, yeah. So Six the Musical, if you're bored and you have nothing to do, you know, just like, I don't know, watch it, I guess. I had a couple people message me after I said I was going to be doing an Instagram live saying that like I shouldn't do it today because of like it's a religious holiday and I'm personally not religious and if you like if me doing an Instagram live while eating a watermelon offends you I'm sorry but I kind of don't want to like plan my life around what might upset people. God fruit is so good. Also, how cute is the Switch light? I've been wanting a Switch forever. I got one just after Christmas. Like, I got the Switch light from my sister. I don't have a TV, so I was like, I don't want a Switch. I want a Switch light. And my sister got me this for Christmas. Sorry, I can, like, not read this. I feel like one of the things I'm definitely not going to wear once this is over is bras. I usually, like, if you know me at all, I don't even wear bras a whole lot to begin with. But now, like, I'm staying inside and, like, I'm doing all of this stuff. I'm, like, never wearing bras anymore. 
and I can just say I'm probably not gonna wear bras anymore unless like my workplace tells me to. I'm getting the biggest wedgie of my life. I guess this is like my first unofficial mukbang. So what's like the food everyone's been eating now that like we can't go out? Or like, what food are you craving? I've been craving burgers, like literally. I don't even eat burgers that much when I go out to get food, but I've been craving burgers like so much. Like I just want some, like a nice burger with like some melted cheese. And I'm just like, Trying to get like a good angle where you can see like my ears, but also like, and I just can't get it. I miss Korean barbecue, like holy fuck. I, my friend Kaylee and I went out for Korean barbecue right before this all kind of started. And literally I'm so happy that we did because like if we didn't, I would have been like, ugh like the biggest wedgie in this. It's just like not working. I wish they had like push-up ones, but like at the same time, ugh. Sorry. And like, I'm so glad I was able to go for a cream barbecue before this all started or I would be so sad. Cause like, oh, I miss it. This is so fucking cute. I bought this outfit for East or for Halloween because I had a couple things planned, but then they kind of bailed, and I was like, "Sorry, I'm like burping." Um, they kind of bailed, and I was like really sad. But I ended up going to a friend's house, and we just kind of hung out candy. And actually, him and his husband, um, I guess like they were like I didn't even know that um, they were planning this, but they got married on Halloween, so they went to the courthouse and got married. So I got there, and it was the first time I actually met his, like, boyfriend. Like, I thought I was just meeting his boyfriend. And then they're like, yeah, this is my husband. And I'm like, husband? I thought you guys were just dating. And I was like, cool. Like, it's awesome. And they had the cutest sign, and it said, like, newly, newly dead, newly wed. And I thought that was the cutest thing for, like, Halloween. And it was so cute. But... Headphones, please! Sorry, roommate. I'm really sad because I was supposed to go visit my parents. Like, this is the week I was supposed to be in my hometown. But obviously, I couldn't. So our plans got cancelled. They got cancelled like a while ago. It just sucks. But... Right? I'm like, I'm in a live stream. Okay, I'll be in my room. I think my neighbors think I'm a cam girl. Because, like, I have my curtains open every once in a while. And, like, even yesterday, like, I was cleaning. And I was in, like, um, I've been wearing my bodysuits a lot, just they're, they're really comfy, and so I'm not wearing a bra, I'm, like, not wearing underwear, obviously, um, and, like, my butts, because, like, you know how bodysuits go, my butt's, like, out, and I'm, like, I'm literally, like, cleaning, and I look out, and I see, like, my roommates walking the dog, and I'm, like, I don't know if they see me, but I don't look the best, and I know they think I'm either, like, a cam girl, or I, like, am insane, because I talk to myself and like I'm doing like my Instagram videos and like the walls are thin. So I know my neighbors think something. So I'm like, 
you know, I'm, like, doing something and, like, I just, I think they think I'm weird. Like, oh, they dropped off some cookies once. They're super, they're super sweet. And I was in my bikini because I was getting ready for my bath bomb video. Um, so I was making sure that it fit and I was trying it on. So they, like, it's winter and they come over and I'm in my pink bathing suit. And I'm like, oh, they're like, we made these cookies. I'm like, thank you. I, like, brought them cookies a while ago. Um, so they probably were, like, making cookies and thought of me. I love their dog so much. It sucked. They literally said that I could, like, before all this started, they're like, you know, if you want to, like, ever just take the dog for a walk, just come on over. And then this all started, so I'm obviously not going to, like, hang out with a stranger's dog. But, like, eventually can start doing that I can technically have pets here but um like I just I can't afford it so like this is the first place I've lived um like if I started YouTube before my the last place I lived it was disgusting literally one of the things that I'm most thankful for in my life right now is that I am going through this COVID isolation in this place my last place, it was in a basement suite. It it was really cheap. Like, it was, like, the cheapest. But it was probably illegal. Like, there were no, like, escape. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Sorry. Um, like, it was a basement. But there was one, like, stairwell up. I could, like, if there was a fire in the living room and I was stuck in the bedroom, I would definitely die because I could not get out the small window. Like, my butt wouldn't even fit. Like, I know that. There were, like, nothing. There were bugs. Literally, there were ants. It was so fucking gross. It was so depressing because there were no windows except for these small things. And, like, it wouldn't get the light. So, in the winter, I was just so depressed, like, all the time. And, like... The place I live now is better. It, I, I kind of don't like the area because it's so outside the city. Like, right now, it's kind of whatever. Like, where am I going to go? But when I'm depressed these days and I'm thinking about what am I thankful for? Because I have, like, I'm thankful for so much. But when your mind is in, like, you know, that spot, you're like, I can't even be thankful for anything. That's definitely something that's been coming to mind is at least you're here. At least... You're here, you have a warm bed, you don't have bugs <laughs> in your apartment. There's a huge window. I open it up every single morning so I get this natural light. I know I'd be so sad all the time if I was dealing with this in my old place. But these days, like, I'm, I'm doing a little better. And that's just, like, one thing I'm totally thankful for. Can you raise your hand? Why? What? Like this? I like jazz hands. <laughs> oh, hi, Kaylee. Kaylee, do you want to join me for a couple minutes? I can do the split screen. We can talk. Also, why isn't my phone charging? Oh, there we go. Let me know and I'll suggest it. So Kaylee's the person I was talking about before when I went to who I went to Korean barbecue with. She's like literally one of the bestest people. I love her so much. You know those friends that are like ride and die that's definitely her I've had I've had a lot of shitty friends in my life and I've had friends that um have just like not been the best and Kaylee's just like one of the good ones I am not camera ready that's okay next time next time I'm gonna get Kaylee on here Oh my god, I've already been talking for a half an hour. Okay, I'm gonna, well, I didn't even say this yet, but I'm doing this for about an hour. Um, 
<clears throat> so, I don't know. I hope everyone's having a good Easter. There's like a little box thing. Oh. There's like a little box thing here. And if you have like questions, you could do that. I wasn't really like into like knowing how to do any of this last time. So I was kind of nervous to touch things, but I was touching them a little bit before people joined. I wish I knew how to tag com like pin comments though. That'd be, oh, fuck, what did I do? Oh, nope. Let's not do that. I don't know what I just did. Let's pretend I'm not messing up. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna leave that. I was gonna try and share a photo that I took, but we're, I'll just share fo some photos on Instagram. I love how I'm eating a watermelon and three people are watching. I was watching my friend's Instagram um, and it was literally the best thing. And I think there was maybe like two of us watching, but she's literally has such an entertaining personality that it was just like one of the best things in the world. And I was having like a really sad day and it just made me laugh like so hard. I'll agree on the ten amongst these threes. Have a good day. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Making my Instagram live not be literally one person. Okay, if everybody, like, leaves, I'll just end it. I'm hoping to talk for, like, an hour, but we'll see. Um. I love this. I've always wanted to dress up as, like, a Playboy bunny for Halloween. But, like, one of the things I ran into is, especially with, like, I don't know, just the kind of place that I lived and, like, the parents that I had. It was, like... You're too young for that. You're too young for that. And then suddenly it's, you're too old for that. And it's like, so like last year I was like, fuck it. I'm buying a bunny costume. And then all my Halloween plans got canceled. And I'm like, oh, cool. I don't even have a place to wear it to. But I ended up just hanging out with a couple friends at their house. So that was all right. I might reuse it again this Halloween. But I have so many costumes. Like, I literally finally got my star costume together for Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I was supposed to wear it to Odafest, but... That didn't happen, which is like, whatever. I'm trying to not complain about things. Literally one person watching, thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> but it's been hard. Seems cool. I'm gonna see if I can tag a photo. Give me like one second here to be like really awkward. What did I just do? Did I send it? Can people see that? Did that work? I'm so confused. I don't know if that worked. That was, I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to like, I don't even know how to take that away. These kids across the street can be so loud. Yeah, I don't know how to, that's there now. I don't know how to take that away, so. Cool, cute, there's my outfit. <laughs> 
I mean, you can't see like the tail, but. I am like so excited though that I can finally visit people's towns in Animal Crossing. If you weren't here when I was talking about it. Um, I finally was able to get like a membership for the Nintendo. So I was like with my, I was hanging out with my sister in her town this morning. And it was so much fun. Can we dance? I can't dance. I'm trapped behind a table. Sorry. Maybe I'll do like a dancing Instagram live next time because I, I've, I've seen a lot of people do that, but like, I'm just, I kind of just want to eat my watermelon this time and not do that. I don't know why I was trying to make this thing like last time when I did my live I was trying to get it to save onto my like phone and it wouldn't for some reason I'm hoping this time it does and I can like upload it onto my YouTube channel but I don't really know how that works I've seen people do like uh twitch live streams and then they can upload that to their YouTube channel I don't know if Instagram lives work the same way because I haven't done that but we'll see. Chicken dance. I don't want to get up. I can do like. Also, I'm realizing that Pooh Bear is just like sitting there. This is my oldest possession, by the way. So like everyone can back off. She's just going to sit there. Literally like, literally my most prized possession. Like. If I was in a burning like building and I could just grab one thing, like this would this stuffed animal. Like literally when I had pneumonia, he was there. When you know, when I was in like the hospital and I had to spend nights by myself, like that was it. Um and like through breakups and just mess. So I would choose this stuffed animal over my laptop over any of my camera stuff, like any time. It was a Winnie the Pooh Bear. So this was a special Winnie the Pooh Bear. Um, he didn't come with a shirt, he came with a bow tie. Um, but it was like still, sorry, I'm like burping. It was a official Winnie the Pooh Bear from, I don't know if people know this, but Winnie the Pooh Bear is actually from Winnipeg in Manitoba here in Canada. Um, so the uh, Christopher Robin, who was like the kid, he named his stuffed Pooh Bear Winnie after that bear at the Winnipeg Zoo. So I got this stuffed animal from um, my aunt who lives in Winnipeg. So that's what... Um, it was like official, but it was like a special one. So we came with a bow tie. I've long lost the bow tie, but I've even had to like stitch up his eyebrows. His nose cracked. I had to like super glue that. But yes, his name is Pooh Bear. He was an official Pooh Bear. He used to be a lot brighter, but he's like 19 years old. So ish. I'm really bad at math. I got him. I'm 24 now, if you don't know this. I know disgusting I'm so old um and I got him when I was five turning six so I'm just gonna push this table out of it I can show people kind of a little bit my outfit now well because I'm like kind of done eating I was getting a little crabby so that's why I wanted to like eat I was like I'm gonna eat but I'm also waiting because I told my Patreon people I was probably going to be eating a watermelon. I don't know if that's something for people to look forward to. But. So I'm wearing like my bodysuit. Yeah, I never got like a set of like the Hunger Acre Wood. Hunger, hun oh my god, can I not even speak? Hunger Acre Woods. Oh my god, my tail just came off. 
Okay, that's like poking me in the butt. I don't know, let me like see. It's like kind of coming off. It's like sticking out. Wait, I need to fix the safety pin. Okay, I'm not gonna speak for like a minute because I don't wanna die, so give me a second. Can't even see that really. There we go, okay. That's kind of hanging weird now, I'm sorry. <laughs> that kind of looks weird. I had to like safety pin it in. Yeah. And I got like electrical tape because I hate wearing bras these days. And I don't have any of my nude nipple pasties. So people can just assume I have dark nipples with my nipple pasties on. I kind of wish I had a better tripod for my phone so I could do it this way, but just the way my tripod is, I can't, so I have to do it sideways. Otherwise, you'd be able to, like, see, like, my whole body, but maybe sometime. I totally lost my thought. Yeah, so... This guy. Yeah. He said he had the whole collection of, like, the Winnie the Pooh people. Um, I just got this one. I got it from an aunt. I'm not even... I don't talk to my that aunt anymore. So, I... I that's just, like, yeah. If you're ever, like... I don't know. If, so, if it ever comes up in conversation, what's Jessica's most prized possession? It's not... It's, it's not my Shane Dawson palette, as people think. Um... It's not my laptop, my camera, it's this stuffed animal, literally. I'm loving the purple. It's black electrical tape. I don't have purple nipples. I don't have any of my nude ones and like, I don't like wearing bras and I wasn't sure if my nipples would slip out cause they do sometimes, especially when you're like laying down and stuff. And I'm like, I don't need that. If you play Animal Crossing though, message me your friend code and for Switch so we can visit each other's towns. Cause like, I want to, I want more people to do that. Sorry, I'm like just messaging one of my friends. Oh my god, can I not speak and type? Hm. That's okay. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if I can change this picture up here. We're just gonna, just give me a second. I'm like low key blind. That's an awkward face. Let's see if I can find a better one. I didn't take a whole lot. This one's kind of cute in like a really stupid way. I don't have any that I'm like showing off my tail to. I was gonna Photoshop a basket into that one. There's my butt. Yeah, that one's probably the best one, the one I had before. We're sticking with that one. I'll probably try and take a couple better ones later. I'm literally so blind, like, I mentioned this before, but obviously people come and go, but like I usually wear glasses. Um, I wear contacts in my videos just because it's more convenient. 
but the contacts I'm wearing right now are like my old prescription. I don't have any left of my new prescription. I just don't throw stuff out. Um, I was supposed to go for an eye wash because um, I've, I've never mentioned this before because it's not like relevant, but my corneas are really thin, so they're almost tearing. So I have to go in for surgery in like a year or so and get them kind of fixed up. But I was supposed to go for an eye wash. Um, it's like, a, I forget what it's called. It's more medical term than that, but I'm just a dumb blonde and I don't remember words. But I was supposed to go for that and then... I can't go back. That's okay. My phone's just being weird. Um, but then, like, they called me saying that we need to start setting up our appointment. But then this all started happening. I was working and I was like, I never got to call them back. And then obviously they're closed now, so I have to wait. And it sucks because, like, I can feel my vision, like, deteriorating. Um, and, like, I know I'm going to need surgery pretty soon, like, in at least the next year. And it sucks. And I need all this to be over so that I can prep for that. I need to find out that, like, how much it's going to be. And it just sucks. I Because once I get this surgery, I can officially get LASIK because they're different, this would be to fix my corneas, and then the next one would be to get LASIK. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks so much. Um, but, yeah, so I need to, I forget what it's called, obviously, like, I don't know everything. Um, I forget, like, really big words. <laughs> but, yeah, so I can get that surgery to fix, like, my corneas and my retinas and whatever else it is, but it's, like, really thin. That's all I really, really remember. So I can get that surgery and then I can get LASIK and then maybe I won't be as blind. But yeah, so I have to like, I'm just blind. You want to? Maybe next time I do a live stream, I will do like a dance one. I know there's a couple Instagrammers that do like dance alongs. And I think that would be like pretty fun to get like the body going. I was like dancing hella yesterday while cleaning. I should have been live streaming that because that was like crazy. Also, not to sound like a total dork, but I'm going to out myself, but I am a Rick and Morty fan. And last season or like the last half that came out, there was this thing called snake jazz. And it's like my fucking jam. <laughs> so like it basically, it's like, So I literally have been like dancing around the apartment and just going like and I am the biggest nerd. I'm really excited for the new Rick and Morty to come out. I like it. I I hate calling myself a Rick and Morty fan because there's so many Rick and Morty fans that are just super obnoxious. Um like I've met so many obviously like you can't judge a whole fandom by the people that stand out the most of it but just like people that were getting like super upset about like a sauce by the way thank you for like the couple people that are sticking around you're the best but i do like rick and morty i think it's pretty cool i think it's super super dope if i may say that Okay, so I have nothing else to really talk about. If anyone has any questions, you can ask. Has anyone sent in? No? Okay, cool. Um, I, so last time when I, like, had a live stream, I kind of just pulled out, like, these. You game. I don't know what that means. Um, it's basically conversation starters. <laughs> so I thought I'd just um, bring it out again. There's like some days where I just don't feel pretty or cute. I've been feeling a lot more confident not wearing makeup, but I like putting on makeup today made me feel pretty, pretty like the world's back together. So I feel really cute today. So like, excuse me if I get lost in the view of myself. 
Also, I'm just going to put pooper over there because that's ruining my vibe. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just talk to myself and I haven't drifted to no views yet, you know? Few people come and go. Do you play games like on PS4? No, I used to have an Xbox One, um, but I sold it for rent money. So, I just have my Switch. I literally was, like, short on rent, and I had to sell my Xbox, so I just have my Nintendo Switch now. Sorry. Um, I've never really gotten into PlayStation. I had a PlayStation 1, I think, when I was, like, 6 or 5 or 8. I don't know, but I think my sister has it now. But I just, I don't even remember playing that one. There was, like, there's, like, a Spider-Man game that I kind of played, and, like, yeah. Thank you for complimenting my ears. I like them. I think they're super cute. And I have a tail for the people that like haven't been here that were here. So I got like my tail too. It's kind of hard to see. Ex ignore my cellulite. Yeah. Happy Easter. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm gonna like answer some questions that nobody's asked because that's what not having a following is <laughs> um okay <clears throat> these ones are kind of lame okay have you ever okay okay this is a good one have you ever had a supernatural experience okay low key i might sound crazy but i believe in aliens i don't care what anybody says um, I think, and I, like, I, if someone could prove me wrong, I'm 100% on board with that, but I'm, like, 90% sure I saw a UFO once, and the only other 10% is because, like, it could have been something else, but it also couldn't have. So, I remember I was standing at the bus stop, um, this was maybe, like, seven years ago, um, and I was still in high school, and I was waiting for the bus, and it was maybe seven in, 7 in the morning, 6 in the morning. I used to go to school really early so I could hang out with friends. And um, I do remember, I was like, if you're just joining me, I'm talking about, like, if I ever had a supernatural experience. And I swear, like, I was standing at the bus stop and I thought I saw, like, a UFO. And the only reason I think it's a UFO is because there was no way a plane would go that low and move that weird. And I was staring at it, and I was like, what else could this be? I was like, is this weird? So, like, yeah, if, like, I think I saw, like, aliens, but, like, I'm also totally on board to, like, be proven wrong. Um, what's the craziest thing you have on your bucket list? My bucket list is pretty simple. Um, I want to go skydiving. Um, I want to travel more, obviously. I can't think of, like, a whole lot. My... My bucket list is, like, basically, like, be happy, m have a job that, no matter what it is, pays your bills, maybe a little bit more, you know, that's my bucket list. I want to help out my family eventually, so, like, my bucket list is pretty boring. My most extreme thing is, like, I want to go skydiving. <laughs> I'm watching that new lion documentary on netflix the tiger king one and i'm like now i kind of want to pet a baby tiger but like i know i'm not going to because i don't want to like contribute to all that but that would be on my bucket list if it was legal and not like totally frowned upon mm -hmm. let's see if there's anything else if you could be an animal what would you be so my Patronus, or a spirit animal, or however you want to call it, is a platypus. Because they are like, what is that? No one knows. And that's basically me. That's basically my whole life is just a weirdness. And, but I don't know if I would be a platypus. Because, like, I don't know, a whole, like, enough about, like, the predators and stuff. If, if, like, someone, like, a genie came up and was like, I'm gonna curse you. Or maybe not a genie, like a witch. And was like, I'm going to turn you into an animal, but you get to pick. I have no idea. Maybe, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, little germ that I can, like, just not get squished or, like, hunted. 
Because I could even say, I want to be, like, protected. So maybe, like, a rhino. But then there's still poachers, you know. Or, honestly, I used to think this a lot. And maybe it's still true. But if I could be an animal, I would probably be a jellyfish. And my reasoning is pretty basic. You get to, like, just surf the waves, travel. A lot of jellyfish. So, like, I'd probably be a moon it's not, sorry, I'm, like, blanking on it. I think it's called a moon jellyfish. Um, I could be wrong, and I could be thinking of the wrong one. But I know there's jellyfish that travel together. And I think that might be the one. I also like jellyfish for the reason of, in my mind, it's the only animal that's not judged by how cute or ugly it is. Like, even, like, dogs and cats and platypuses. You can still tell that they're cute when they're a little more different and maybe for like just once in my life I could just I could just be like everyone else so yeah I think if I could be turned into like any animal um I'd probably be a jellyfish because I'd look just like everyone else as sad as that sounds If you ruled the country, what's the first law you would pass? The first law that I would pass if I ran a country, if you are working and you are under the age of 18, you do not get taxed. I am a firm believer that you shouldn't be taxed on your paycheck unless you unless you are able to vote. I don't think a country that you are not even able to vote for should get your money. I, like, I don't care if it's for, like, streets and shit like that. I know people that had to start working, like, really young. I started working as a hobby when I was, like, 13. I didn't have to. But I know people who had to work when they were in middle school to help out their families. They had to, like, work through high school. Um, Luckily, like, all the people I know that were in these situations were still able to graduate high school. But, like, I know for so many people they can't. And I just think it's so super obnoxious for the government to be like oh you're working that young let's take a portion of your paycheck so that's like the first i know it's super boring i know people were like would be like oh i would change all currency to gummy bears but like being real that's it time remaining one minute and 53 seconds oh shit that's right i can still only live stream for an hour because i'm still like new and stuff most jellyfish i like so I don't know what any of that means, bro. I'm so dumb. Most jellyfish, what? Regenerate cells closest to immortal. Yeah, that too. Okay, sorry, I had to read that like twice. I was like, what is that word? So it's like it for me to like talk about this kind of stuff. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, sometimes jo- doing an Instagram live, I can feel pretty insecure when there's like only like two or three people watching. But... I just want to thank everybody that stuck around um, and it does just make me feel super good for people to actually watch and this one was kind of all over the place, <laughs> mostly me just eating, singing songs, humming. I literally have 50 seconds and then this is going to cut out. Um, I don't know why I'm eating when I should be like doing a close up. Um, and yeah, if you don't already, you can follow me on YouTube. It's the same Hachiko underscore Jess. And I have a Twitter too. Nobody really follows it because I don't post a whole lot. Um, that sounded super obnoxious. Sorry. I meant it like, don't, you don't have to follow it because I don't post a lot, but you can follow it. Um, so yeah. And I just want to thank everybody for coming by. I hope everybody has a great Easter, um, or anything that you do celebrate for your good Friday. And yeah. Um, I don't know. I have like 10 seconds left. Sorry. I don't even know what to say. But thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, it's going to cut out in like four seconds. So I hope everybody has a good day.